let's talk about the final Saginaw Valley team still playing here in the playoffs. Mount Pleasant, you know, they were the class of the SVL this year. They are in action tomorrow. For more on that matchup, we'll head over to the uh, WNEM News Radio 1250 studio. Steve Duncan standing by. Flying solo tonight, guys. Tomorrow, Mount Pleasant versus East Lansing. Mount Pleasant last week fell behind two touchdowns, not once, not twice, but three times. That cannot happen tomorrow against East Lansing. East Lansing in their first game against St. John's won 49-42, so we know they can put some points on the board. The second game against DeWitt, they win 23-14, so the defense is formidable. Ryan Elliott, Dustin Lee, and Michael Tway have to bring their A game and then some if Mount Pleasant wants to go on to the state semifinals because this is a very good East Lansing team, guys. I was going to say here, Steve, that uh, obviously Mount Pleasant has been knocking on the door trying to get the Ford Field. You know, year five, year six of this run they've had going on here, they, this is the year that they got to finally do it, don't they? Absolutely. This is Jake, Jason McIntyre's watershed season. They've came so close, but they're all so far from getting to Ford Field. If they're going to do it, as I said, they have to dictate the play tomorrow. They have to control the shots. East Lansing, they've got to make this a track meet against them. Mount Pleasant's defense needs to step up. And, of course, they did last week to come back from the two touchdown deficits not three times. But that's going to be the key. Mount Pleasant has to dictate the play, offense and defense. Hey, Steve, uh, one more quick question for you. We saw what Powers did tonight. Obviously, they're joining the Saginaw Valley League next year, uh, along with Davidson Flushing and the rest of the Big Nine and Flint Northwestern and all that. Uh, y your thoughts now seeing Powers and how that's going to change the dynamic of this, uh, this very large conference? I'm telling you guys, the first week in the playoffs, Midland blew out Carmen Ainsworth. This is a Powers team, a little small, but they've got an excellent coach in Bob Buckle, former teacher of mine back in my Birch Run days. So we know the guy can coach. And he's got all the tools, a great team in Powers. I can't see why they don't make a run. Same thing with Carmen Ainsworth. All right, Steve, we appreciate it. And uh, thanks again all season long for doing this for us here on WNEM 1250 News Radio. Steve Duncan once again. Thanks.